Hey all, it's Josh with Battle Bond, and I'm here with Josh. Hello. And uh, we're going to be playing some Middle Earth strategy battle game for you. So Josh, why don't you tell us what you've brought for us today? Sure. So we can start off with Theodred's Warband. He's my army leader. Uh, got the horse upgrade and the shield. And then we got uh, three Royal Guard with throwing spear and shield on um, horses, then two just regular warriors with axes. Nice. Next we got Ingold with six Rangers with spears and six warriors with shield. Then we got Huron, four Fountain Court Guard with shield, um, my banner with the shield, and five warriors with shields. Two warriors got shield and spear, and then three Citadel Guard with the bows, which uh, are strength three, which are pretty nice. Lastly, we've got Angbor, who um, gets uh, free might to either spend on to hit, to wound, or in the ways, which is pretty cool. And he's just leading a single guy with a shield. Awesome. Yeah. So that's a 600-point alliance. I'm bringing 600 points of Angmar for you guys again. So this will be the same list as last time. So we've got the Witch King. He's got three might, 18 will, three fate. Uh, all my orcs, uh, my hand weapon orcs are going to have axes and they all have shields except for the bow ones. So we've got six with hand weapon shield, uh, nine with spears. We have a dead marsh specter, a banner spear and shield. Um, our next combat group is going to be a barrel white. And we've got eight orcs with bows, a dead marsh specter, two war riders with nothing and their dismounts. And then the last combat group is going to be another Barrow White, another Dead Marsh Spectre. We've got six orcs with Axis Shields, three with Spear Shield, and then two more War Riders with their dismounts. If you like what you're watching and want to help support the channel, check out our shop at etsy.com slash shop slash Battle Bond Miniatures, where we sell a variety of proxy models, terrain, and game accessories by creators such as KZK Minis, that can be used for a variety of tabletop games. Use our discount code up on the screen for 10% off your next order. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and now back to the video. We rolled up Lords of Battle, and we've already deployed our armies. So you guys can see Angmar over here, kind of spread out a little bit. And then the Minas Tirith gone, or uh, sorry, Rohan. Minas Tirith Rohan on the other side over here. They're in a nice little line. And uh, <laughs> you guys can kind of see the, the table. All right. So nothing left to do but priority roll. Indeed. I'll set the bar if you'd like. Sure. That's a four for me. Nice. Two for me. So um, you're up first. Sounds good. Would you like to call anything? No, not for me. Thank you. You? Uh, no, nothing for me. So we'll come back at the end of the movement phase. End of the movement phase. Um, the alliance over here actually backed up. So everything on the Angmar side decided to run up as fast as they could, basically. And that's about it for that. So we'll come back with some shooting. Shooting. So sorry, I forget. What's your hero's name again? Angbor. Okay, so who's he targeting? He's going to target this ward here with one in the way for that gentleman there. Okay. So to hit, he did move, so it does not hit on the two. <laughs> or Very <three>. anticlimactic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we've got no combats, obviously. So it's just a priority roll at this at this point. So yeah, see how that goes. Six. Chris so it's me, no matter goes what. To you. Cool. I'm not calling anything. Me neither. So we'll come back after some movement again. Okay, so end of the movement phase. Angmar again, running up as fast as they can. Our good alliance over here, mostly standing still with some cavalry kind of posturing. So it's time to move on to some shooting. Coming back to you guys at the end of the shooting phase. So one of these heroes managed to kill a ranger over there. And then uh, we lost a couple of orcs to some throwing spears over here. So now we've just got one hero shooting left to do. Angbor's going to take a shot into this guy here, the Warg Rider, with two in the ways. Um, three does hit, I believe, because he didn't move this turn. Um, first in the way, makes it. Second in the way, makes it. Nice. Uh, Riot, of course, the Rider goes for the Warg. 
Um, it's a rider. You want to mite that because he gets a free point of might. Um, you're, you're on the rider. Just roll a wound him. Okay. Um, that's a wound. So cool. thrown rider. Uh, so that's the rider dead. So let's see if the warg sticks around. It does not. All right. Well. So that's it for the shooting. So uh, we'll do our priority roll. Indeed. Uh, I'll set the bar. That's a three. And one. So over to you. Would you like to call anything? Um, nothing right now. You? Nope, I'm good. Okay. So we'll come back with some movements. All right. And in the movement phase, and Angmar is continuing its advance, and our good alliance over here just stood still, waiting for what's to come. So we'll do some shooting, and we'll come back with that. Angmar is going to try and pop a shot into the Witch King, hidden on threes. Oof, and he misses. <laughs> <laughs> this is why he's not very good. Classic. And in the shooting phase, the orcs managed to do nothing, as they do. And our good alliance over here killed one. One orc, so, right? Yeah. yeah. So obviously no combats again. So we're just going to do our priority roll. So the bar? Sure. We got a five. 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 So it's over to me. Indeed. So would you like to call anything? I think that's okay. We'll let you have it. So nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, yeah, and uh, nothing for me. So we'll come back with some movement. So we're coming back in the movement phase. So Witch King has moved up and he's got a beeline on Theodrid, is that right? Yes. Theodrid is moonlighting is uh four along the fat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's gonna uh, the Witch King's gonna toss a black dart into Theodrid's horse. So we're throwing two dice at it and we need a five. Um, so we got it. Ooh. Free reroll. Don't even need it. And then uh, it'll be a three to kill the horse. So that kills the horse. Um, uh, unless you can fade it, right? If you want to. Um, yeah, I do have horse lord. Do I want to fade that? I could fade it. Let's go for it. Cuts glory ram. Ooh. New. No. So okay. Thorn Rider. Okay. Uh, he's standing on foot. All right. Cool. So another successful black dart from the Witch King. Um, and uh, we'll come back after some more movements. Okay, coming back with a barrel white. So he's moved up, and we're just going to try to toss a, a paralyze into this Rohan rider. Um, one die. So four up. Let's see how it goes. Two. Nope. Nothing happens. Okay, so end of the movement phase. And we've finally kind of forced the situation here. So. We got some orcs in combat with uh, a couple of riders over here that got the charge. And then the uh, throwaway orcs with um, bows have all been charged over here. So we'll come back after the shooting phase and uh, come back with some combats. So end of the shooting phase, um, orcs lost another member. And uh, that's about it. So we're going to do some combats and we'll come back to you guys with those. Okay, coming back to you guys with this hero fight here. So it's, uh, which hero? Ingold. This is Ingold right there. Okay. And then like five other guys on one orc. So my orc Green is going is to axe hero. in case he wins. Piercing one, two, strike. Three. One, two, three, four, five. I'll just roll my dice. So six. Four. So red is just regular warriors. That is a six. Okay. So that's you. And, and my defense goes down three. So, so three is... <laughs> Nothing on Ingo. <laughs> okay. Um, and we'll just do five dice for the other guys. Sure. There oh, you go. That's a one. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Last combat of the combat phase is also going to be hero one. So this is who again? Sorry. Huron. Okay, Huron. Huron the tall. Against two. So um, those guys are both going to piercing strike. Okay. So go for it. Six okay. and you win. That's a five for me. Okay, Let's see what we get. Three. Okay, uh, first dude, dead. Second dude, dead. Ooh, the sixes. Didn't even have to roll to decrease their defense. All right, so that's it for the combat phase. So we'll do our priority roll right now. Two. Five. All right. Any heroics for you. I will call a move with the Witch King. Let's counter with Angbor's might. You have part. No, it's your, your priority, your, your okay. role. Um, one through three goes to you. Yep. Goes to me. Okay. 
So welcome back after some moves. Catch. So we're coming back with the Witch King's heroic move. So he's just moving up about an inch or so just to get within 12 over here. And uh, we're going to toss a black dart into the horse. Same thing as last time, throwing two dice at it. Need a five. So we got the five. Uh, I won't resist. I'll let you have it. <laughs> and a three to kill it. And there's a one. Uh, not worth the two might. So yeah, we'll come back after some more moves. It is barrel white time. So we're going to throw two dice into uh, Paralyze into Ingold, who's just right there. So need a four on one of these. So didn't get it. <laughs> wow. All right. All okay. right, we're back with another Barrel White. So we're going to try to paralyze Theodrid, who is over there. So Poor Theo. two dicing it again, and we need a four up. So we got a five high. You know, I think I'm going to try and resist it with two. Sure. That's a five. Okay, I resist. All right. And I think that's it for movements now. So um, you guys can see we're kind of all stuck in basically over here. So we'll that's do some shooting no, and uh, come back with that. And uh, then some combats. We're going to do a uh, Angbor against Orc. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's going to piercing strike with his axe. So. <laughs> Fair. So the bar? Mighty four. Four, four as well. You have a banner and, though. Yeah, I, I am in banner range. So let's see. Oh, another four. So <laughs> right. goes to defense goes down three. So, so defense one. That cool. is a He's dead dead orc. The last combat of the round is going to be Ingold versus a war rider and a regular orc. So uh, yeah, no piercing strike because why not? Fair. Um, but they yeah. won't. They won't do that then. <laughs> uh, you charge me. So is that the bar? Sure. So you get an extra dice for the cavalry charge. Yeah, I did. Cal cavalry in one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, sorry. Um, three. So you win. Yep. Do I want to might that? All three might. Nah, I'll let you have it. Hit. So I'm prone. So we will actually. We can do this all. Oh no, the yeah. No, we can do this all together. Let's see if we get any sixes. Nope. You get to reroll though. One. And so Ingold decided not to use any fate. Um, yeah, so that's it for the combat phase. So orcs are suffering pretty badly with casualties here. So maybe we can come back a little bit. So we'll go and uh, do our priority roll and see what the next round brings us. Yeah. So. One, three, heroics. So. Yeah. Um, you know what? Let's call another move with the Witch King. Okay. Um, I will counter with Theodred, who's down to two might. Okay. It'll be your roll. Yeah. It's your priority. And it's good again. All right. We'll come back after some moves. Coming back with the heroic move from the Witch King. So he's going to send a black dart into Theodred, who's just right there. So two dice. We need that five. And we get a reroll. So it's reroll, and it's nothing. Oh, really? All right. Come back with some more magic. Back again with the barrel white. Going to try to paralyze Theodred. The idea was to try to use up his last will with that black dart, but uh, four, so we got it on a six. I'll let you have it. Okay, so he is paralyzed. Okay, so Barrow White's going to do Barrow White things and try to paralyze, uh, which hero is that again? Huron. Huron. Huron the so, tall. Yep, we're going to toss two dice at it, and we need that four. So don't get it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so moves are done. You guys can see again, there's just a huge line happening right here. Um, there's no shooting. I just thought I'd point out the there's difference shooting, in actually. dead piles. Sorry, there is going to be some shooting. So orcs have an uphill, or Angmar has an uphill climb for this. Um, so yeah, we'll come back after we do some shooting. Okay, shooting over here did absolutely nothing. 
So it is on to combat. Ingold is fighting two guys right now. We got the warg and this orc. Um, Ingold is shielding for dear life. And uh, in case you forgot, he is prone from the last combat. Yes. All right. Set the bar. Sure. Five high. That's a three and a six. I win and stand up. Okay. Okay. So right now we got here and fighting a war rider. Yep. Um, and you rolled a six. Yeah. <laughs> We're Roll keeping that camera. Oh. And it's a six. All right. Let's see how he does. Uh, first on the warg. Kills. Next one on the rider. Kills. Okay. Two extra kills. Okay, so that's it for the combat phase. Went poorly for the orcs once again. So here's the dead pile. And there's the other dead pile. So we're going to see paralyzed roll. Nothing. Nope. Um, can't he, even mind this guy base to base with him? Uh, no, he's not touching technically. So Okay. Uh, yeah, so then it'll just be priority. Indeed. So four. Four for orcs, two for the other guys. All right. The or Theodred cannot call a heroic move, but Ingold can. Um, and I think Ingold will. Okay. Uh, I am not going to call anything with the Witch King. So okay. It's over to you. So Barrel White's going to go, and he's going to use his last point of will to try to paralyze the rider that's there. So four up. There I love it. it. What a play. Yep. So, oh Fallen Rider. Oh, true. I didn't even think of that. Yep, because he gets knocked down. Uh, he's not prone, but he's prone because he's paralyzed. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, in my ever continuing quest to maybe do a wound to Theodrid, the uh, <laughs> Witch King is going to try to black dart him. Um, so, we're going to toss two dice at it, and we need a five. Get to reroll one. Oh, oh there you go. Five. I'll let it go through. I'll, okay. Um, so it'll be a uh, three to wound. So wound him. And uh, he's he out of wound. fate. Yeah. Hooray. So we're going to end up with at least one point this game. That's something. Moves are done. Um, everyone's stuck in it still. It's just a slog in combat now. We've got no shooting, so we'll come back with some combats. Okay, so we're going to come back with a hero fight here. So we've actually got a couple heroes in this one. We've got the Barrow White in gold and a warg rider and a spear support spear supports in this fight because he had to charge him oh okay yeah so ingo got a little bit overzealous <laughs> so barrel <laughs> barrel white and uh warg rider versus the uh versus ingo yeah and set the bar we got a five. fives five as well fight four um yeah i am within oh yeah yeah, range. yeah. Six. I will mic that because otherwise I'm dead. Uh, you have a banner roll too. Oh, I do. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see that. Nothing. I'll mic it anyways. Okay. Um, Striking the barrel white. Nothing. nothing. He has how many wounds? Two. Two wounds. D7, so I don't have enough mic. But he survives, which is a win for me. You're fighting a lone dude. Yeah. And that'll be the last combat of the round. So. Let's see. I think we have a couple more in there. But... Um, he's going to shield. Yep. Five. Oh, um, I will spend his first point of might. Okay. That's dead. Sorry, I lied. We have one more hero combat here. So uh, it's going to be three on one. Um... And uh, my one is going to shield. Uh, and that's the front two, and we have an extra one, but we kill or win. And to wound, both on fives. I'm feeling the sixes today. We're done with combats, and um, yep, the Allied forces took zero casualties. The zero. Angmar ones took many more, <laughs> so they're actually Let's broken. See. see if Forlong stands up. Yep, so we'll do so our paralyzed check. We'll do the guy standing next to him. Nothing, and Theodred's dice, nothing. He stays there. Okay. Okay, so uh, Angmar's broken. So, um, yeah, we'll start rolling at the end of this upcoming round. So we're just on to priority at this point. 
Indeed. So let's see. Five. Six. Goes to good. Okay. Last point of might. Uh, I'm not calling anything. Okay. Um, okay, then. Uh, I guess we'll just get stuck into it. Okay. And in the movement phase, we're still stuck in it. Um, I was able to pass the courage checks with uh, everyone that was left. Not in combat. So... We're good on that front. Um, and then, yeah, we've got no shooting, so we'll head into combat. And uh, I think the Witch King is actually going to call a heroic combat with his last point of light. Fair. Anything from you, Josh? Um, not really right now. There's nothing really worth calling. And I'm, going, I'm just trying to keep alive. Okay, so we'll come back with that combat and see how it goes. Yeah, Witch King plus one versus uh, this one lone guy. Got Glory Ram. Oops. Survive. So he's a five. five. Nice. Um, yeah. I need the five. We the got six. It. He's pushed back. Sure. Uh, we'll he's start the Witch struck with the other guy. Yeah. We'll uh, start with the Witch King. He's strength four. They're both strength four, actually. So let's we'll do them together. That's so, a dead dude. Got the kill. Um, yeah. So we'll move them and then we'll go back to regular combats. We're going to do Barrow White V1. Versus the, well, let's have him face the right direction at least. <laughs> <laughs> there so, we go. See how, oops, we'll see That's how the six. No, I didn't go in the tree. We'll see how the Barrow White does. Uh, two. One. Oh, he wins anyways. All right, um, so it's going to be a four to kill. Oh. Nope. Okay, so we're going to go with the Witch King charge on this found court guard. So we got Fighting three. Normal. Yeah. You got four. Oh, yeah, sorry. Four. Looking for that mighty six. Oh, yep. he gets it. I'm not prone. Needing those sixes. So there's and one. That's a dead dude. <laughs> Hooray. Someone's actually <laughs> killing something. <laughs> okay, last combat of the round. So we've got Kieran on three, and yep. uh, he charged. He did charge, but he's very trapped. So <laughs> that's could... okay. <laughs> Just needs one six. You want to set the bar? Sure. Three high. Four high. It's you. Uh, yeah, your banner's way out. Um, first dude, did you pierce? No. Nope. Okay. Um, strength four. Needing fives down to four, so nothing there. Second guy, dead. Third one, nothing. It's only one dead. Okay, double hero combat over here. So, Ingold and a spear support versus the Barrel White. So, let's see what the Barrel White gets. Five, five, six for Ingold. And needing sixes again, nothing. And friend spear support, nothing. Okay. So, yeah, once again, I lied. That was actually the last combat of the round. <laughs> so, uh, it's your priority. Yes, it so, was. So um, let's roll for Paralyze, and then we'll roll to see if the game continues. Yeah, so that's five Got five friends, and there's the six. Okay. Theo is standing up. Or no. He's just not paralyzed. He's, he's not paralyzed. No, sorry. And then let's see if the game continues. Yeah. It does One. not. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm tired of this beating. So... Uh, we will tally up the points and then we'll come back to you guys with what the score is and our thoughts. Okay, so we'll just show you guys the dead pile. So all of this is the wounds that were caused on the good side. And then all of this is the wounds that were caused on the evil side. Plus, <laughs> so it was three plus four. So seven, seven wounds for evil. Yeah, and then countless for good over here. Uh, yeah, so we calculated it, and it'll be a 10-1 victory for uh, the good guys there. So let's just have a look at this scrum. Um, as far as thoughts and stuff go, uh, I don't know. I feel like things, like as far as the strategy goes, there wasn't much I could do except for run up and try to force the engagement, which I did. And I lost a few guys on the way, which was to be expected. Um, when we did finally engage, though, I just could not win combats and could no. not kill guys. So unfortunately, basically what happened last game with Rhett 
um, <laughs> happened to me this game. And um, you would think that like I, I would have maybe gotten some advantageous combats, but I basically played without an army bonus this game for all of the courage checks that were made. Like, oh. It was all behind the scenes. You guys didn't see it, but it was probably... It was more than three three quarters of the courage checks were passed every single round. Yeah, we so were, Gondor was very courageous this game. Sure. Yeah, so uh, that pretty much did nothing for me. Um, so yeah, again, <laughs> I guess just like last game, you know, you, you don't want to blame the dice for games like this, but man, the dice were just was, not on my side. So. It was rough. Um, any thoughts from you, Josh? I think the bear whites kind of let you down. They only got the like two paralyzes off, which is just rough. Uh, yeah, they plus. were important paralyzes, though. To be fair, like fair. we did, we did paralyze your leader. Yeah, uh, and he was there for a few rounds, right? And then um, we did get a clutch paralyze on uh, a cavalry model to knock him down, which we then killed. Um, and, and it saved your banner. Yeah, yeah, our, that was huge. My banner was kept alive because of that up until this last round, right? So um, that was a cheeky play. I, I actually really appreciated that. I figured you were just going to go for Huron, but then you <laughs> came up from behind and surprised me there. Yeah, yeah. So uh, honestly, I mean, they it's a 50 50 each time they, they do it, right? Mm. So I, as far as their performance goes, it was fine. Mm. Um, yeah, like I said, it was just mostly, mostly dice, unfortunately. And that's kind of what it comes down to, I think, in these killy scenarios. Hey. It's just kind of who has better dice. Yeah, and like for me, I just needed to let my troops mulch your troops, which kind of was what happened. My heroes did practically nothing. <laughs> yeah, all that's, game. That's, <laughs> that's true. I just called yeah. moves with him. That's all they did. Yeah. Although Angbor, as much as I didn't use his rule at all, he held his own. He did the most killing out of everyone in the game. So Angbor for the win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, regardless, it was still a good game. We, we had a good time. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. So um, thanks for the game, Josh. And, yeah, 100%. Uh, if you guys like what you're watching, make sure to give us a like and a subscribe. And we will see you guys again for another Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game Battle Report.